a 56 year old gentleman with a wound to his sense with carotid exposure that will be covered today with a uh, nape of neck flap. And this is the outline of the flap. Um, mastoid tip to the posterior border of the wound, posteriorly to the scapular spine. And then hopefully you'll be able to see this posteriorly back to the nuchal line, the opposite nuchal line. This is the uh, the posterior. This is the nape and neck flap. Um, this the flap has now been elevated, and what we're going to show you is the actual elevation. The flap is elevated. The the flap is actually supplied by the occipital artery and perforators uh, of the posterior neck. So we remember the. Uh, the defect which we had, which was a large anterior defect with carotid bulb exposed with some nice granulation tissue on top of it. So uh, here we have the flap, and we're going to elevate the flap up in the air so you can see the extent of how much of the flap we cut. And you can see a portion of the trapezius muscle hanging off the side. Now the occipital muscle is running on the underside of that um, occipital vessels are running on the underside of the trapezius. So this is really an axial pattern flap that's also, um, where you ha also have contrib contrib contributions from the perforator, so it's pretty hardy. Now what we're gonna do is basically it's an advancement transposition flap, um, and we're gonna show you how it's gonna rotate in to cover the defect. So here we have the rotation. It's almost like, kind of like a muffler or like a scarf, and you can see as it covers, as we come around the corner, it covers that carotid bulb area and all the exposed carotid, actually with even excess tissue. And that dog ear is not really much of a, uh, a problem because we can, we will show you later as when it's closed that it will practically disappear because we have enough flap to be able to move that, that, po that inferior end up and down. So we're gonna just show you some of the anatomical structures. So here we have the inferior cut into the trapezius, which is right there, and then the trapezius on the underside of the flap, which is right here, and then we're going to show you the uh, levator muscle, which is anterior layer, and then posterior to that is the splenius capus, which is right there, and then posterior to that is the longus coli muscle, which is right there. And that's your posterior neck. We'll come back after the thing is inset and sewn in, and we'll show you how it looks. Okay, this is the uh, inset and closure of the flap. Remember, the defect was anterior with the exposed carotid here. So that's your anterior suture line. And this has been closed now with skin subcutaneous tissue plus uh, trapezius muscle. And we initially thought we were going to have to take a skin graft. However, it did close primarily uh, on its own.